Cincinnati Zoo is finding a new way to feed its animals, not from a field, but from a shipping container. WCPO 9 News reporter Anna Azalian shares how the zoo says the goal is to be self-reliant and more sustainable. The zoo used to have to ship this lettuce from California or Mexico, but now it comes from one part of the zoo right to the giraffes. Good job. And these giraffes eat a lot of it, so relying on suppliers across the country can be tricky. If there's recalls, if there's availability issues. These are obstacles the zoo wants to remove, so it bought these shipping containers as a pilot project. This is, uh, you know, our hydroponic grow container. There's no farmland and no mother nature to contend with. This is where the plants are, are housed for their first two weeks. Then they go to this vertical setup, growing for about four more weeks. After that, Zach Burns and his team harvest the plants. We'll be harvesting these tomorrow, and they could potentially be fed out to the drafts um, within the next, within a day. The zoo says sustainability is the main reason behind the project. It cuts down on water use. Our less that we grow here takes only about 5% of what it would um, out in Mother Nature. Plus, rather than shipping it across the country, moving this lettuce from one end of the zoo to another cuts down on greenhouse gas emissions. But meeting sustainability goals aren't the only selling points. Whether there's not enough rain that year or sun that year, that can really affect farming outside. But in here, we can grow produce 365 days a year. Everything is controlled by Burns and his team, so they don't deal with the crop loss they would in a traditional farm setting. Pretty giraffe size, and our giraffes don't like being touched. Right now, giraffes and manatees are the main animals enjoying the food grown in these shipping containers. But Burns says if the pilot program goes well, he hopes to expand. At the Cincinnati Zoo, Anna Azalian, WCPO, 9 News.